monitoring number. Essentially, what they did when you registered as a child, whose was this? Thanks. They crafted and created a bond. They float this bond on the international market. This bond generates revenue every year. You've heard of the federal transfer payments. Your federal representative is transferring money to your provincial representative. What that number represents is an account. It has money in it. It represents your share of Canada. Look at the value of Canada. What is Canada as a landmass worth? Who owns it? You do. What portion do you own? That portion evidenced by that number. The Federal Minister of Finance is acting as a fiduciary agent in trust over your account. When's the last time you told him what to do with your money? <laughs> Never. You've been ignorant of it. His obligation then is to transfer it under the, uh, Fed under the Financial Administration Act as a fiduciary. His obligation is to transfer it on a yearly basis to a registered representative, your provincial government, hence the federal transfer payments. Neither of these parties would have any right to touch this money if they weren't acting as your representative and in a fiduciary responsibility. Because you never tell them what to do with it, they have to take this money and their duty then is to spend it in a manner which is a benefit to you and your society simultaneously. They can spend it on your highway, they can spend it on roads, they can spend it on hospitals, they can spend it on education. But they get to decide how it is spent within this framework. You have the right, under what, I, what we found with the student loans, you have a right to order the Federal Minister of Finance to take this money and instead of transferring it to your registered representative, to put it towards your student loan, to put it towards anything that is a benefit to you and your society simultaneously. This entire election thing, what they're doing is who gets to play with your, your blocks? Who gets to pay, play with the money that's generated? You've got, it's your money. These are your representatives. You've got a right to tell them, no, I have a right you use a notice of understanding and intent and a claim of right specifically with the student loans Canada is a signatory to a United Nations covenant where they acknowledge post-secondary education is a right it's necessary for the development of a free and just society it would be made equally accessible to all and in particular with the progressive introduction of free education they have given you free education in the form of a student loan the student loan can be discharged at any time read the Student Loan Act by way of a discharge or a set-off. Discharge is when two people, one party owes this guy 10 bucks, this party owes this guy 12 bucks, guess what, you do a discharge, this guy now only owes two bucks. That's when two parties are in agreement that there are two debts. A set-off is even better. A set-off, you don't need an opposing debt, you just have to claim there is a debt and let them try to dispute it. And the set-off is a deduction where the debt may or may not exist, but you're willing to claim it does. Because you have this, this available to you, essentially what it says is if the federal government owes you any money at any time, this money can be used for your student loan. And they love this section. They use it in income tax time all the time. These students think they're getting money back, and suddenly they don't. Their refund is grabbed by the government, and it's paying towards their student loan. You have the right to do this at any time because of that number. They always owe you money. These bonds are generating a lot of money every year, and you can use this money to pay for your student loan. You discharge it. We've had phone calls. A woman called in and said, yeah, I want that whole student loan package. I want a package. And uh, we, we asked, well, where would you get this information? Well, there was a girl at work who had gone through it, discharged her entire student loan, and now this woman was calling up. No convincing was required. She wanted it for her nieces and nephews. We got another phone call from a woman she just wanted to invite me to a party because she had phoned up asked about her student loan the status she went through a process they told her well your student loan has been discharged she asked can I get another one and in a very snarky tone she was told well you discharged the last one I don't see how we can stop you <laughs> <laughs> this is how they gave you your free education it's kind of like they put a dish on the buffet
They've covered the dish with the tablecloth and you walk right past it and they get to say, oh, well, we put the dish on the buffet.